Warning, this video may offend some people due to the sensitive nature of its topic. The content creator is not attacking the woman discussed herein, he is using her to address the more common misconception of colorism. ago this dark skinned sister who has a twitter page or a tiktok page called a barbie life you know she said that she's tired of uh being mistreated by black men so she's going to open up her dating options and date other men you know and she got death threats and all kind of y'all black men man go 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 what is wrong with y'all bro seriously <laughs> y'all threaten a sister I mean, y'all, 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 what they call that stuff, I'm doctor and try to figure out where she live and where she working up. Serious, brothers? Come on, man. And I'm starting to wonder if this, not even, if this is even brothers because, you know, the online world is strange. You really don't know who's behind that computer or that, that, that telephone, that, that screen. You don't know who's behind that screen. You know what I'm saying? We assuming that it's blacks that do these things, black men, but it might not even be black men doing these things. You know, I hope it wasn't black men. Now, I'm going to do this here first. I'm going to let you hear what she said. I know y'all heard it already, but bear with me. I just want you to hear it. It's a small clip. I want you to hear that I'm going to talk about it myself because this is an alpha perspective. You know, when a man looks at something, he looks at it from a different angle. When a real man looks at it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not emotionally tied to it with no strain to do. I could care less who anybody did. But anyway, I want you to hear what the sister say. And we're gonna take an alpha look at this here. Listen to what she said. Y'all gonna cancel me, but um, today marks the day that I will be dating outside of my race. And I know what you're about to say, aren't you pro-black? I am, but as a dark-skinned black woman, the most hate I get is from my own men. Me restricting myself to only dating black men is giving me little to no options because there's only like a small group of black men who actually like women like me and trust me i've been trying to educate black men about colorism futurism texturism my whole damn life i do it on my platform every day but a lot of them choose to stay dense and ignorant and i'm sorry but you're not about to ask me to wait for these men to stop being colorist i cannot wait any longer for these men to stop the self-hatred I want to go where I'm wanted. I'm tired of sitting in places where I'm not wanted and try to convince the people that I should be desired. I'm sorry, but I'm done with that. So from this day forward, Shakira Shakira will be looking outside of her race when it comes to dating. Not saying I'm not going to date black men. I definitely will. But to expand my options, yes, I will be dating outside of my race. Unapologetically. Thank you very much. Now, here's the thing. I, for one agree 100% when in fact that's the exact same message I'm trying to give to men, to black men. You go where you are wanted. If you feel like you are not clicking and clacking with black women, move on. You don't attack them. You don't try to change them because you can't. You don't try to control them. They don't, you don't own them. They're not your property. You move on. Find women that are more like the kinds you like. They have sisters that are like, you know, that will fit your kind. And they have other women that will fit your kind. You go and you find these women. You go where you are wanted. Me personally, I have no problem with nothing she said. The problem I have with what she said is why she's doing what she's doing. She's making it all about her skin color. And I can tell you, her skin color, her skin tone, shall I say, is not why men don't like you, bro, your sister. And I, I don't want to come across like I'm bashing the sister. But look at this clip over here. Look at how she looks. Look at the, the, the way her makeup is coated in her face. That wig on her head. The way the makeup is around her lips. She is unattractive. This has nothing to do with her skin tone. She makes herself unattractive. And you see the light-skinned girl in this clipboard, you know, she's going to say, well, they just like her because she's light-skinned. No, she just looks more like normal. You know, she just looks, even if that's not her hair either, it, it looks natural. It's, it's a curly look. It kind of goes with her, with, her, with her features. 
It looks natural. But even in the clip where she's talking about not dating black men no more, look at that curly wig on her head. Look at that. I mean, she didn't say not dating black men, excuse me. She said opening her options, basically. Look at the curly wig on her head. I mean, she, she, she makes a caricature out of herself and turn around and says, it's because I'm dark skinned. No, no. And then again, no man is gonna wanna deal with you if you carry that around everywhere you go. Like, like somebody's supposed to like you. Nobody has to like you. Nobody's supposed to like you. You are not, your, your problem is not your skin tone. Your problem is more than likely you. I can tell you from looking at how you made make yourself up, you have a self-hatred issue. And if you carry that in your attitude, you can call yourself pro-black. See, this goes back to what I just said about the blue pill fakers, right? The red, the, the, the red pill and blue, the blue pill and red pill clothing. This goes back to that video that I released Monday, Man Talk Monday. You know, you could call yourself pro-black, but if your actions says otherwise you know if your actions are clearly rooted in self-hatred which is a claim she oddly makes towards the men so i try to educate men on self-hatred how you gonna educate men on self-hatred when you putting all this gook in your face how you gonna educate men in self-hatred when you won't even wear your own hair when you won't even look like yourself you won't even look like you intended to look when you got a screen name called a uh, barbie's life barbie a white doll yeah, they got black Barbies. Yeah, they got black Barbies. Now, when I was small, there wasn't no black Barbies. That was a white dog. So you call yourself a Barbie. You, you, you paint all this stuff in your face. You don't have a black habit of weight in you except for, you know, maybe the way you got to socialize because you can't, you know, truthfully, you talk about moving around white boys, but it's not going to be as easy as you think. Cause I got, you know, another sister got mad at me. I know the sister, you know, I hope she still subscribed. She was, she was actually commenting. She stopped commenting, you know what I'm saying? For a few days, I don't know what's going on, but you know, it happens. But anyway, like I told her, you can get mad or you won't, but, but, but other men don't like y'all like y'all think. Y'all can sit around and talk about, I'm a dating outside my race. Go do it. Why announce it? You, you talk about these passport rules, you're asking why they announcing it, just go get on that, pew, get on your little airplane, you know what I'm saying? Go go do it, what you're announcing it for. Because the truth of the matter is, it's easy said than done. That's the, that's the fact of the matter. It's easier to talk that talk than to walk that walk. And that's how it is with most things in life. Man, take it from a dude like me, bro. Talking a certain way and being a certain way is quite different. You can claim to be anything out of your mouth, but walking in that path, whoo, that's where the, what they say, the rubber hits the road, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where the rubber hits the road. You could talk what you want to talk about being pro-black, but sister, you can't stand yourself. You can try to lecture men on colorism all you, all you want, but the only one that has a problem with your skin tone is really you. I can guarantee you most men don't care about your skin tone. You know how many beautiful, dark-skinned women are out there? In fact, not long ago, man, me and my wife went out, and there was this sister, Midnight Black, in the club. And we, we, we more of a uh, live band was playing. And I walked in, I seen her, I'm like, man, I mean, she's so dark, you barely see it, but as I said, come like, dude, that girl is pretty. And she kind of looked at me and, you know, kind of shyly put her head down. And I, I had to tell her, put my hand on, say, sister, you are gorgeous. Just know that. And I kept walking. You know what I'm saying? She gave a big smile and stuff. But, you know, somebody needed to tell her because she probably think that her skin tone is a, is, 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 is a, is a barrier too, but it's not. You beautiful. She had none of that gook in her face. She had her own hair. I mean, that girl was gorgeous. Gorgeous. In fact, they got a video, you know that big swole dude that be walking around doing all those, all those videos? His sister is, I mean, it's blacker than, it's blacker than this damn, this tripod I got over here. She's black like my shirt. That girl is pretty. Pretty. Those, y'all seen the, y'all seen the YouTube shots of, of him walking around doing the exercise, but she's fine too. He exercising with his sister. 
His sister is gorgeous. And she's darker than my shirt. The girl is so black, you turn the lights on, she's gonna disappear. And you can't tell me or anybody else that she's ugly. So this is not about your skin tone. That's what I disagree with her about. But as far as going where you feel like you are wanted, you should do that. But here's the next problem, female. Women choose. So you can choose all you want, but if the men that you are choosing are not open to that to your choice, then you got a problem. You got a problem, Houston. You can go elsewhere, but them men gotta also want you. Those men gotta feel the same way. And I'm telling you, men do not, they are not that they are not that uh uh favorable to black women. They're definitely not preferential to them. So they, they really not that favorable towards dating black women. They won't do it. Most non-black men won't mess with black women. It's just the reality. Y'all can post up all the few interracial couples y'all can find, whereas a black woman, white man, and a lot of times the white men don't look like nothing, but y'all can post them up all y'all want. But the truth of the matter is most non-black men won't even date a black woman, especially a black American woman or an African woman. They won't do it. A black woman from the islands, the Caribbean, maybe. Black woman from South America, maybe. Or Central America, maybe. But a black woman from America, mm, black woman from Africa, mm, they're not gonna do it. So, you know, you gotta understand that you could choose, but when you choose, you gotta make sure that you're choosing men that are open to you. And that's the next problem. So, you know, I agree with her. By all means, if you feel like you're not getting what you, what you think you deserve or want over here, then you should go elsewhere. I, I, I agree 100%. Because that's my message, my very message to black American men. Stop wasting your life dealing with women that you feel like you can't click with. If you can click with them, fine. If you can't, fine. Go somewhere else. I mean, it's what I did. But I mean, I never stopped dating black women. I just, I just reached a point, I, I would have to say around 30. Even though I, at the time around 30, I had a religious family that included black women. But I can see the ripples already outside of them. And they were the ones giving me all the work. The, the, the lady that's with me now, the German woman, she was one of the wives. And she was the easiest one to deal with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. She was the easiest one to deal with. And you could just see already that if something go wrong with these women, I ain't never messing with sisters again, not in a serious manner. I still would date a sister. Right now, I would date a sister. We go out, we can have fun, we, 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 we can get at it, but I'm not gonna try to seriously build anything with the sister because fundamentally, we don't clash. We, I mean, we don't click. Fundamentally, we don't go together. We're gonna clash. So I understand that. I've understood it for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was around 30 when I realized it. I understood it for a long time. So if a sister feels like I'm just not I'm just not clicking with the brothers, then fine. You could date brothers casually and find your man of another race to, to, to try to build something with. I advise you to go do that because that is my advice to black men also. So that's an alpha perspective on it. You know, she said some stuff that was right, but as usual, she um she misrepresented the why. You know what I'm saying? She tried to make herself a victim. When the truth is, the only person that needs to be educated on colorism is her. The only person that needs to be educated on self-hatred is her. The only person that has a problem with her skin tone is her. The only person that has a problem with the way she look is her. If she loved herself, she could find a man that loved her also. That's universal law. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time I'm out of here, I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long. Um.